Our enemies, be they rogue nations or terrorist groups, see us talk about red lines not to be crossed. They defiantly challenge us and cross them. Sadly, all too often, America makes bold claims followed by weak response or no response at all. As a result, our enemies get stronger and America gets weaker. This administration has seesawed from an ill-advised courtship of Putin's Russia to scrambling to respond to Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea and a ground war in eastern Ukraine that continues today that's virtually unacknowledged by this White House. The challenge within Ukraine is the greatest threat to European security since the World War II. Now my answer, stop letting Putin set the agenda. Stop turning a blind eye to Russian aggression. It's time for America to step up, not back down. And that starts with providing Ukrainian fighting forces with lethal aid. Our goal in Iraq should be defeat ISIS, marginalize Iranian influence and Iranian militias, and help to foster a system of political inclusiveness rather than sectarian division. The U.S. and our allies should also consider putting limited number of U.S. Special Forces personnel on the ground and outside the wire to help call in truly effective airstrikes and provide more effective support to the Iraqi army, the Sunni, and the Kurdish units directly engaged in the fight. 